to assemble the DIY Dynamics DJ table. It is a record, a record player based table that um, can be used to simulate fluid dynamics and geophysical flows. So the table's consist, uh, the table structure consists of two main components. It is um, a small rolling cart from McMaster and an additional handle that's from Shelving.com. They're easy to find. There'll be a link in the form sheet. Um, in addition, we have our record player, which we have lots of different ones you can choose from, uh, both new and you can get used ones from eBay that work totally fine. And we have our battery pack that is lithium ion, uh, so it'll be rechargeable and you can essentially use this wherever you go. All right, so to start, we're going to start with our McMaster cart. Its components include lower deck, upper deck, this is where you put the record player, four wheels, two of which have locking components, four legs, and 16 of these little gray pieces that are used to lock the platforms in place. So to begin, we are going to put our little locking mechanisms on the bottom of our legs. You know it's the bottom because it has this little gray screw-on component. The top is empty. The screw-on component is going to be for the wheels, so bottom. We are essentially going to take two of these components. They're all identical, so it doesn't matter which two. And you have to make sure that when you're attaching them to the pole, you're attaching them the way that the top is going to be smaller than the bottom. So you'll notice that the legs have these little marks on them. We're going to choose the lowest mark. I'm going to put our two pieces on so that they connect and we're just going to slide it until we hear a little click. And that means that it's in this little crevice. So we're going to repeat that for all four of our devices or four of our legs. So now we have all four of our legs clicked. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount it onto our lower, lower platform. Straightforward. We're just going to let it fall to the very bottom. And we want to make sure this is very, very snug. So we're going to have our trusty mallet. And we're just going to bite each of the corners, hit it down. There we go. That's nice and firm. So you should essentially see a little bit of the gray from that plastic locking mechanism still on. If you see that more of the gray is on than the other ones, What's happened is that your piece has slipped. It's not the end of the world. Mallet on the other side. Loosen it. Make sure your pieces are back to being locked. Try again. Now we're going to attach our first extra arms. 
So, I'm gonna slide the first one down. And we're just gonna tap, 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 tap. That's nice and snug. You still want to be able to rotate it so that we can eventually fit our arm correctly.
already rebounds itself, the handle is not going to tip it anymore. So now the last thing to do is to add the wheels. We're going to rotate our table, it's not too heavy. Tip it onto its side. Very nice. So I like to have the braking wheels closest to the handlebar. The McMaster cart comes with a little wrench that you use to tighten these in. But for the first part, you can just tighten it with your hands. Remember, let me lose the righty tighty, because I never do. Yeah. 